Okay, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I'm sorry, that was a very bizarre ending to the last episode. That was crazy, but I removed the Odin had an effect from Barrett because that almost fucking killed my party in a regular battle. These battles are tough enough. They're confusing my party members. I don't need Barrett causing instant death to my party anymore. I was getting ass raped, to say the least. Um, I'll show you any new enemy I might run into. That's the High Wind. And that's the Outsider. Some pretty good treasures in here. And we got a new enemy. It should be another unknown. Yep. Um, Barrett's going to use his limit, so hold on. I'm definitely going to use regen and satellite beam for Barrett. Because I need him to learn his last limit break too so he can learn his best one. Of course, the other one to learn here is pretty good too. But that's some pretty promising attack right there. Look how tough he is. I have to cast regen on my party just to make sure. Because... They do some serious damage to my party. Especially with Yuffie as low as HP as she's at. Crazy. But like I said, you can morph them into sources and stuff. I wish you could uh, equip a encounter none on this like Final Fantasy VIII, but then again... Then again, you need to uh, gain levels in this game, whereas the other, <laughs> that game, you really don't need to. In fact, you probably shouldn't. So we got this serpent-like creature. He should be fairly easy. The great thing is about these monsters is because of the amount of damage they do, it's a good opportunity to work on limit breaks for, for people that need it, especially Yuffie and Bear. They need to learn their second level three limit breaks. Fortunately, these monsters that I'm running into, it's just that one that can cast confusion on you. Confuse, or whatever. But, fortunately, these don't do it, so now I wish I had Odin added effect just in case. But these guys are boss like creatures. So, yeah. Crazy, huh? Absolutely crazy. Gain levels, guys, please. Alright, so we got some treasures in there. Alright. Man, those unknown twos are brutal, man. I can't slow those motherfuckers down. Alright. There's somewhere else I can go. I think it's up here. Yep. This is where I could have got the conformer. Oh, shit. I should have went in here before <laughs> taking on the Turks. Mega Elixir. I just, uh, I actually just, uh, used the Mega Elixir because oh, I got party members dying. Oh, yeah. I should mention another thing I did was remove some of those freaking, uh, <coughs> so all the summon materia off of, uh, isn't there a treasure down here? I guess not. All of them off of uh, Yuffie, so she can have some hit points. That ma that fight went a lot better, I must say. There's the conformer. Check, take a look at this. There's no growth on it, but you know what? That's okay, because the only thing I have on it right now is enemy skill. So, you know what? Oh my god, these enemies are a pain in the ass. I forgot how much of a pain in the ass they are. They're some of the toughest enemies in the game, seriously. Alright, now we are almost out of here. I actually don't think you can get into en encounters in this fucking room here. Thank god. See, it looks so much better. Yuffie does so much better with her physical attack. I love this. Absolutely love it. Alright, so... The main thing we want to do here is save. 
because there is a small chance, a small one, that Mr. Emerald Weapon will be waiting right outside the door and we will encounter him, which in case we want to back right back up to here and move about our merry way. All right. Let's please no emerald weapon. Please no emerald weapon. Please no emerald weapon. Good. No emerald weapon. All right. Uh let's see. Is there a couple other things we can do now or Uh let's see. Um, oh, there's a couple other things that I want to do. Um, first of all, let's see, we want to be near Costa del Sol, which is where we are, so let's head over here. There is a river over here. Let me find it. It uh, might be in, in the vicinity. Uh, yeah, right there. That's what I want. There's a cave right down here. Please, no emerald weapon. Oh, I forgot. Oh, wait. They're not a way to... Maybe that's not the river. See, I can't go that way, but I need the... Let's... Okay. I know where I'm supposed to go. I'm sorry. I'll, I'm just going to show you how to get there here. I'm probably not going to have time to freaking do this. Um... We'll see. Okay, there we go. That's exactly what I want. Now, you could do this with a gold chocobo, too. Have I already done this? I don't think so. I hope I haven't, because if I have, I'm going to feel stupid. But there's a cave right here. And this is what happens when you take breaks and you can't remember what you've done in the game. I really want to get all this side quest stuff done. I can't wait to finish this game, get to the ending. That's the real good part, is the ending. So... Alright, you submerge up here. And move the camera so I can see. No, don't freaking resubmerge. You dumbass. There, uh, isn't there a place where I can fucking get off? Please? Maybe it's over here that I can get off. I don't know. If I hit X, I'm going to freaking go back down. I know I am. You see? I'll figure this out. I just want to get out. Please just let me get out. That's all I want to do. There we go. Alright. So, uh... <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's crazy. Alright, we want Vincent in our party for this. Uh, but I'll show you what we can do here next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. This is Clonefan841 signing off from Lucretia's Cave.